What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a follow up on the Bonks NFT collection created by Omni Creative. Now, this collection, surprisingly, even during the recent trend where Solana was going from $8 to $30 and all these other NFT collection floor prices were dropping, Bonks did drop to around 16 to 8 Solana, but has bounced back to its new previous support levels of around 16 Solana. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you possibly why the floor price is going up and why people are anticipating something really interesting around this NFT collection. We're gonna show you some one-on-one -on -one artwork. But before we're gonna get into any of that, we're gonna look at some charting, kind of see where the support levels are, where this trend could be going, and I cannot wait to show you in this video. So as always, be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety. Stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement around this collection. And as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, the collection is around 15,000 total circulating supply. This whole collection was minted in Bonk tokens, which was all burned from the team. Now what's great is, is that the floor price, like I said, is around 16 Solana. Only 587 out of the 15,000 NFTs are in circulating supply. That's crazy. These are the ones that are listed on the floor. And believe it or not, we are still not at the stage where these NFTs have revealed yet. So people are buying, speculating that maybe they have a great bag or a great one-on-one -on -one artwork. Now, the amount of unique owners is around 5,600. So that's a very low supply of owners. I mean, there may be more whales that hold these collections. But let's not ignore some things. We got to look at statistics, right? Right now, the popular collections within base one hour is number two, bonks. Let's look at the six hour. We can see that bonks is number four. Let's look at the 24 hours. We can see it's fifth place. But what's always really good to see is that it's always competing with these big dogs right here. These are all blue chips. And not only that, on Soul Sniper, it's definitely one of the more popular collections, as you can see up here above. And again, like I said, Bonks is among Tayo Pilots, ABC, Utes, D Gods. I mean, gosh, you know, that's that's a really great sign of a collection that has great traction. Now let's go ahead and look into Soul Sniper's tool. Now this is looking at the chart. We're looking at the floor price looking at the listing count, and we're looking at the relative strength index. Now, as you can see here, we actually are trading sideways, but what you can't ignore is that we're forming higher lows. We have one here, here, and here. So could this break to the upside at any point? Possibly, but again, the NFTs haven't revealed yet. Now we did see in the very beginning that there was a little bit of strength to the upside in terms of the relative strength index, but now we're seeing a little bit of a downside. So maybe people have accumulated their NFTs, less people are buying, but regardless, you know, maybe this traction could come right back up again. Maybe this little spike right here is gonna send us to the upside, who knows? But if we do go to the upside, then we have to see this listing count drop even further, or say for instance, the floor price goes up and the listing goes up, that means that there's a higher floor price for even the higher circling amount of NFTs on the floor. But if I were to guess, if we break out of this or if we just decide to trade sideways, but if we decide to break out of this, we could see prices of around 30 Solana if it's maybe for the rarest ones, or who knows, maybe there's some announcement or reward for holding these NFTs and staking them, maybe to earn bonk tokens, who knows? But again, this is all circulated around the meme coin. Again, not associated with the meme coin, but again, there's some hype around, you know, the collection and the meme coin kind of getting launched within the same time. So they almost share the same narrative, which is really cool. Now, another thing I want to share with you is that recently Omni Creative released some news that they are going to be moving their collection and migrating it over to Metaplex. What does that actually mean? Well, on their NFT Twitter page, it says all bonks have successfully migrated to Metaplex standard. So royalties is now set at 2%, which are optional. So you can choose to pay the creator royalties or not. Any royalties that are paid will be used to buy and burn bonk tokens. Again, there's a lot of bonk tokens out there. I think it was in the trillions. But again, there's millions uh, of these bonk tokens being burned, not just on bonks NFT, but other places as well that accept bonk tokens. And they continue. Now that we got that over with, shall we release some more art? So let's talk a little bit more about the one-on-one -on -one art. And people have been submitting their artwork. So like say for instance, Celestial Body shared this work of art. Again, they're taking the PFP 
and creating their own version of it, right? And we also have Drew Flute, who also created his little digital GIF file. And again, it's, it's got like this inspiration between voxel monkeys, but again, everybody has their own style. What else is there? We also have an artwork from Error Theory 404, who has this kind of version of how they collaborate with Bonks NFT. And then we also have Basket NFT creating his own drawn artwork. And then we also have this one, which is a nice 3D element. Cookie NFT and Bonks collaborated on this one, which is really cool. What else is there? We also have Bonkistan, which is kind of a Middle Eastern influence. And this was done by Ministry Art. And also we have more prominent artists. So say for instance, Kalanosaurus is also an NFT collection that's considered a blue chip and a great team from what I hear collaborated with Omni Creative for their Bonks NFT. They basically took their own dinosaur and put it in this little kind of hoodie jacket of the Bonks uh, dog. And then we also have artworks like this from Ben Bakara, who also created this nice GIF file. Again, more of an Asian, Japanese, maybe Korean influence. I don't know what it is, but it's still, I love that people have their own interpretations. We're going to build it up. We also have Scumso, which was one of the first one-on-one -on -one artists I was going to be collaborating with Bonks to create this amazing one-on-one -on -one NFT. And then last but not least, I mean, we have this NFT by John Lay, who's a really number one one-on-one -on -one artist. People love this guy. But people saw this NFT and I saw the floor price jump pretty high from around 10 to 19 Solana. That's how big this was. So hopefully someone can score this and this could be one of the most holy grail NFTs of the whole collection. But keep in mind, there are a lot of one one NFTs. And I think this person brought up a great point. He says, I feel like the Bonks NFT is what Utes was supposed to be. Because if you don't know, the Utes NFT collection was kind of advertised in the very beginning as if it's a place where one-on-one -on -one artists can go and kind of create their own interpretation of what a Ute should be. And I think that's been delayed or canceled. But regardless, this person says, the entire art community coming together to create this massive collection. I effing love it. So as you can see, I think there are more one-on-ones coming out. And if you're lucky enough, maybe you can be one of the few selected to get one of these one-on-ones. And all you have to do is hold one of these NFTs or maybe more. So when we look at, like say for instance, Shout for Monkey, if you don't know who this person is, they are literally the business development and par partnerships within Magic Eden. He quote unquote said, Bonks are flipping Solana Monkey business and there's nothing we can do. Now Solana Monkey business has been around for a long time. In fact, it has a really high market cap, a huge high floor price. I mean, it's definitely a blue chip for sure. It's one of the OG projects and it has amazing great leaders in the space. And this is this guy saying this, that bonds are gonna flip Solana Monkey business. So that's amazing. Now, if you look at the like, activity, you can see that people are buying this every single minute and it's consistent. And that's just something I will not ignore. Now, is this the time to buy in? Well, this is my conclusion and statement around this collection. Obviously, people are buying every now and then. Again, the, the buying pressure has kind of slowed down a little bit. And again, there are a lot of whales holding this product. So if you don't hold a big bag already, again, what I'm about to say is not financial advice. Please like do your own research. This is just my opinion. I only provide news and entertainment on this channel. But in my opinion, if you have a big bag of this, just hold on to it, right? And just see if you have a one-on-one -on -one reveal. And if you don't, if you don't have like that many at all, if you have two or zero or who, whatever, how much, it doesn't seem like you have a lot, then say for instance, if you have zero, maybe just watch from the sidelines and just see if maybe there is a one-on-one -on -one they could buy. Because say for instance, if you buy three, that's over like 30 Solana. So maybe you could use that 30 Solana to buy a one-on-one -on -one artwork rather than buying three to speculate. So again, this is just my opinion, but if you already have three, five or 10, then say for instance, maybe you don't need to, maybe you decide you wanna take profit or maybe you're just gonna hold to see the one-on-one -on -one reveal. It's really up to you guys, right? So. Again, this is just my opinion. Don't take it as financial advice. So with that said, now you kind of know my conclusion and statement around this collection. It's really fun. I really like seeing that this is gaining a lot of traction regardless of the FUD storm that's happening around the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem. But regardless, I'm not gonna sleep on this collection. I'll be watching it every now and then and uh, monitoring if there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for sale. So with that said, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna send the sidelines? Are you gonna watch for a one-on-one? -on -one? Are you gonna accumulate? I wanna hear your thoughts down below on YouTube and Twitter. And if you can, be sure to like out the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page because subscribing to our Patreon page supports this channel, provides the content that you guys and girls need, and I try to provide as much up-to-date news for you all. So be sure to support our Patreon page if you haven't, and you can also get really great updates on our channel and also alpha calls on what we're investing in or what is on our watch list. So with that said, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page, and I'll see you guys and girls next time.